Hello. Thank you for turning in, tuning in to this week's read. Um, let's see. For the main part of the read, the tarot I'm going to use is the Ultimate RPG Tarot Deck by Jeff Aldrich and John Taylor. Here's a picture of the box. And there's a website. I think it's Simon & Schuster. Yeah, Simon & Schuster. Feel free to freeze frame and check out that if you want that information for the tarot deck. Oracle cards. Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy DeMarco, one of my favorites. And Rockpool Publishing, yes, Rockpool Publishing. Here at the bottom, if that focuses, is the website, rockpoolpublishing.com.au. A is an apple, use an umbrella. I don't know if you can folk I don't know if you're going to be able to see the, the rest that's on the back here, but if you want to freeze frame, freeze frame and check it out, feel free. The dice I use, I now have a 21-sided dice, uh, which does omit zero for the fool, but it gives me most of them. And I got a 14-sided dice for the main minor arcata, and I I've updated. Uh, <laughs> here is the website for them. If it focuses. I think it says Tom Anders there. Uh, there's this. Some people use those things. Feel free to use that thing if you want to use that thing. It's also, I think the smaller dice came in this. Um, it's called the Dice Shop. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, MathArtFun.com if you want to check out that website. Okay. With that being said, uh, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. It's james, the number four astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. And now on to your reading. Let's see if I pointed the right way this time. Hello, Libra. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Libra? Okay. I know it's starting out good, but let's get through the whole thing before we, you know, count the chickens and all that hatching. For this to work out, you're going to have to really disappoint somebody. <laughs> um, it's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. Just kind of like, I don't feel like Libra is a real big fan about making people unhappy. Um, Libra tends to be the one kind of like, we can all be happy if we kind of play civilized. If we all do this in a civilized manner, we can all be happy. Nobody has to be left out, all the other good stuff. But um, yeah, you're going to have to really disappoint somebody for this to actually make sense. Let's see. The foundation of the situation is actually people not realizing that there's a good reason why things are the way they are. Okay, what do we mean by that? Like, the way things currently are, I'm getting started from nothing. There was a lot of work that had to be put in to make the situation what it is today. When it started, there was nothing. Like, nothing was working out right. And there's been a lot of work to try to get it where it is right now. Um, there's a lot of people here who seem to want more. And it's kind of like, well, when it's available, yeah, we can do more. But right now, there's not a lot. Or there wasn't in the beginning, anyway. In the beginning, there wasn't a lot. And it took a lot where people wanted more, wanted more. Well, we have to wait. We have to get where it can be. Things were just really lacking in the beginning, but we pushed forward, we did the best we could, and we moved forward with a lot of strength. The thing is, we're moving on from that time. The time of lack is seeming to move into the past. That being said, this is not the time to look at it as if it's at, at its optimal. It's still growing, is what I'm getting. Um... Things have gotten better. Things are going a lot better than they used to. But I get that even though we're moving on from that moment where we had to connect and we had to bring it in a lot stronger, we realize that we're in a much stable spot now. It's not quite where it needs to be yet. And that might be that might be what's kind of like out of focus at the moment. There has been a lot of healing. And people are doing a lot better. Yes, that is true. 
but we're not at a point where we can really disassemble things or kind of divvy it out. This is not the time, like, it's kind of like, you know, getting halfway through the winter and realizing that we have a lot more than we expected. I get the ironic thing here is, it's like, this is not the time to count, to count our, like, to count things up and to kind of like give extra out. It's kind of like, we need to keep moving. We keep, you need to keep treating it as if we're not quite there yet. Um... It may seem like this is a good time to kind of give a little bit more, be a little bit more relaxed, but they're saying this is not the time. Even though, like, we've gone halfway through the winter and we have 70% left, like, we have 100% when we started. At this point, we were expecting to have 50% left because we had 50% of the winter left. We have 20% more than we expected. This is not the time to divvy that up, is what I'm getting. This is not the time. It may seem like it, but it's really not a good idea. Um... Judgment is going in your favor at the moment, but we want to get to the end. Um, you got the Temperance card coming in, and then the Nine of Cups half in, half out. There are some things that might pop in here that are unexpected still. Um, even though there's a lot left, there's a lot left over, there's 20% more than we expected, this is not the time to use it, is what I'm getting. People might be convincing you or you might be even believing that, you know, why not? People want more. People are needing more. People feel like it's time for more. Right now is not the time. Right now we're still doing get good. We're still doing well. We'd like to have this a little bit more relaxed, but I'm getting like this is not the time to do it. Um, this energy coming in is like I feel like people are pushing. People are pushing and people are pushing. Let's divvy it out. Let's take the extra 20% and just give it out to everybody so that we don't have to worry about it. That It's not a good idea to do that right now. Uh, I don't know how else to say it because I feel like I want to and I want to do it. And it seems like it, maybe it's going to be fine. But I'm getting like this is not a good time. By doing that, this is we're going to end up with more problems again. We want to keep people in the same pattern. We want to keep things the same. We want to keep it where it is. People aren't going to like that. People aren't going to like that, but it's kind of like trusting that this is for the best. Even if this situation and we get to the end of the winter and we still have the 20% left over or possibly even 30% left over, we divvy it out then when we know we've made it successfully is what I'm getting. That's the better way to do this, which is ironic because I do feel like you're going to make it to the end of the season and either still have the 20% left over or possibly have 30% left over. The reason you want to do this is to keep this to set the standard. You want to get all the way to the end, realize it was the best choice to keep it where it was. Even though we had leftover, we ended up we had 20% before, we could have given it out. Now we have 30%, let's give it out then. You get to release the situation with holding it together and keeping that standard in check. You're kind of training people to realize we're going to keep to the standard to make sure we definitely will have it all the way to the end. Um it's setting the standard for the next couple times around because I feel like what's going to happen is like people are going to get into this mode where they're expecting extra or they're not planning the way they should because they're like, well, it was too much that time and we just gave it out. So why, why be so stringent this next time around? Why not be more giving next time around? We'll add it up differently. It's kind of like, no, we want to keep this pattern because yes, this time around we had extra, but next time around we may not. So we, we want to keep this pattern. If you keep people in that rhythm, it's less of a headache later. And that's what I'm getting from this is why you don't want to do it. It's kind of like if you give in this time, it may seem warranted this time, but I'm getting like it's going to be that much harder next time around. It's kind of like, you know, people are going to give you a hard time. Like we didn't need that much last time. So we don't have to hold this much this next time around because we didn't need it last time. It's going to make the hill more of an uphill battle next time. Um, it's not about just this time around. It's about next time around. It's planning forward. Um, the lovers came in half in, half out. And then the um, the two of swords, half in, half out. If we're able to hold to the standard this time and to not break it down and to not pull back... If we're able to do that, the next time we have to do that, next time we have to come forward in this same type of pattern, it seems like people already expect you to do that. So people are already falling in line before it's even an issue. It's less you have to mediate. It's, it's the less you have to work out. It's the less you have to keep your eye on because people are like, oh, here we come around. 
Winter's coming again. Libra's going to make us do it this way. All right, you know what? Let's just go with it. We know this is how this is the drill. This is how it's going to go. Let's just get in line and do it the way we need to do it. If you if you mediate it out this time, it just it backlashes on you next time. I understand where it may make better sense, like, yeah, but we have extra. And they will get it later, but not until we're sure we've made it all the way to our end goal first. Even though this time it seems like it's okay, it's going to make your next time around so much more difficult. If, is there something I'm missing? Because I feel like there's something I'm missing from this. Um, so it's something about the people around you. So let's just see. They're not the ones who um, have to plan it out anyway, is what I'm getting. They're not the ones who are, um, like, it's, it, because I'm seeing this card here. And like, a lot of times I see the pages as, like, 12 to 14-year-olds, 12 to 13-year-olds, something around there. They know a lot. They know a lot, but they don't know enough to be self-sufficient. They're not quite there to live their own lives. They're doing well, but they're not all the way there yet, right? Especially if they don't have to. We don't want them doing that. They're not the ones who have to plan the long term, is what I'm getting also. Uh, with a 12 to 14 year old, they're usually dependent on their parents, I'd like to say they were, to look out for like what needs to come next, what do we have to be ready for. They're not the ones making sure they have health insurance, it's their parents that have to make sure that they have that health insurance, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind, they're just knowing what they're going through in the moment. And you might be, clearly you're probably dealing with other adults, probably. Um, even though you'd think that they would understand that and they would kind of like plan ahead correctly, they'd understand, well, maybe this time we can, but next time we may not be able to. They don't seem to work that way. They just want to get what they can get. They just seem to kind of look at it like, if I can get more now, I should be able to get more later. And it seems to be causing this pattern. It just seems to be creating that. And it seems like it becomes much, much more resistant later. If you're trying to make the same plans later, they just kind of like, well, it was too much before. Why should we do that this time? Hold it this way, and when we get to the goal, let it go after we hit the goal. And then when it comes up again the next time around, it won't be as strenuous for you. Um, I feel like the people this is going to hit hit for, I feel like you might be in that boat where kind of like, well, I would like to give out that 20%. They're just giving you a reason to not, and to realize it's not bad. It's like whether they get that extra extra now or they get it in three months or two months or whatever it is, they're still going to get it. It's just they have to wait for it. They may not like it, but it makes more feasible sense to wait. Go with the one that makes more feasible sense. Yes, they're going to be disappointed, but sometimes it's better that way. I feel like this is more about setting it up to your advantage, just to be fair. <laughs> I feel like they're saying set this up to your advantage. It makes your life easier in the long run. Are we good? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.